looking at a function, besides looking at the, so we basically already kind of determined, um, if, remember beginning of class we did the piecewise functions, right? And by the piecewise function, by determining the left and the right hand limit, we could determine if the function was, uh, if the limit existed. And if the limit did exist, then we knew it was continuous, right? The first two examples were continuous, right? And that third example was not continuous. Does everybody agree with me? Right? So if you're given a piecewise function and you need to determine if that's continuous or not, check the left and right hand limits. Make sure those connect and move on. When given just looking at a different function, um, just like if we had to evaluate for the limit, the first thing, if you guys look at this, let's just say, you know, the limit does, um, let's say if I wanted to evaluate for the limit as x approaches negative 3 of f of x. Well, we can't apply direct substitution, so therefore we want to look into our factoring techniques. So I factor out the numerator by using the difference of two squares. And even though x cannot equal 3 in the denominator, that's a discontinuity. But since I can divide it out using the division property, I'm left with x minus 3 that I can now evaluate the limit for. Right? But since I can divide out this discontinuity, that's why it's a removable whole. Okay? Whereas on this one, um, I don't know, let's evaluate the limit as x approaches, um, was it minus plus 7? I think if you did that 49, I think that should work. Negative 3, yeah. That'll make it 0 if you plug that in. So we go ahead and factor our numerator and our denominator. Um, this one should be x minus 1 times x minus 4. And our denominator is x minus 7, x plus 2. Okay, and as you guys see, do, do, neither of these uh, divide out using the division property, right? Right? None of them work out division property. So guess what? They are non-removable. These are going to provide us with asymptotes, okay? Whereas this is going to provide us with a whole because it's removable. So if you can factor it out, it's removable and it creates a whole. If it cannot be factored out, it's going to create a asymptote where the graph is going to approach it. Anybody have any further questions on that? No? Okay. So looks like our first little quiz there.